Usually these videos are filmed at some ungodly hour, like 3 or 4 a.m. This one is a bit different though, because I'm filming it in the morning. So, if it looks like I've just gotten up, it's because I have. Apparently, most of the Western world is addicted to caffeine. Somebody fact-checked that. Is that true? The big five personality trait of conscientiousness is the biggest predictor of success. Conscientious people are generally responsible, organized, like to be prepared by planning ahead, hardworking, even in the face of difficulties, and tend to control their impulses. So let's go through these sub-traits and figure out why they might contribute to success and what kind of success. Being organized and planning ahead. Let's say you're working on your laptop and you need to find a document. If you are unconscientious, you're going to be wading through a labyrinth of disorganized files and folders. If you are highly conscientious, you would have set these things up in advance because you know it's a problem you're going to face over and over. And I think that is characteristic of conscientious people. They preempt future problems and solve them in advance. They don't need things to be urgent in order for them to take some kind of action on them. So that process of looking for the document is going to be frustrating, time-consuming, because it adds up over time, and will completely take you out of your workflow and disrupt your rhythm. So if you want to emulate conscientious people in this area, think about the activities you do very often or even every day. How could you make those activities easier? So set them up in a way where you can do them faster or with less effort or friction. And constantly aim to prevent problems before they arise. Goal setting. Creating a goal, moving towards it diligently and persistently, even when facing roadblocks and setbacks, is something conscientious people are excellent at. This isn't the same as pushing yourself to breaking point, or trying to achieve a goal at all costs. If the initial goal can't be reached, they'll simply adjust to a more doable goal. So it's not that they always reach the goals they set, it's that they don't give up if things need to be adjusted in some way. If you want to improve this skill, when you pick a goal, if you don't get there, make sure to at least get something done. Conscientious people live longer. How much stress comes from rushing, being swept off your feet, not in the good way, scrambling at the last minute or arriving somewhere late, after which that interaction itself becomes much more stressful. I mean, even saying that list of things out loud feels slightly stressful. They're small things seemingly of little consequence, but they add up and compound to dictate whether your life is seamless and smooth versus panicked and stressful. These things can chip away at you and grind you down over time. Day to day, being unconscientious may amount to nothing more than minor annoyances, but it's when you encounter problems, big life problems, that this trait becomes very useful to have and painful to lack. By the book, conscientious people tend to follow the rules, the regulations. They stay in line with the standards in a given situation. As you can imagine, this lends itself to doing well in the education system or the standard workplace. That also gives you an insight into one of the drawbacks of this trait, which can be sometimes a lack of creativity. In the Big Five, creativity is most linked to the trait of openness to experience. So I think it's fairly obvious why a conscientious person would do well in many areas of life. I think that exercise of preempting problems and getting ahead of them is an excellent thing for all of us to do. Punctuality. This can be an indicator or a clue to spotting a conscientious person. Punctual people tend to be quite polite, don't cause much of a fuss, and tend to turn up on time. Those kinds of things tend to suggest that a person wants to make a good impression and that they care about whatever job they're doing. If you are a conscientious person and you haven't yet subscribed, then obviously that's going to be a recurring problem. So you might want to get ahead of that one.